So if you're looking to make subtitles and captions, just like the ones you see below me, while Premiere Pro has made it incredibly easy, you can even animate them inside of Premiere Pro. And I'm gonna show you guys how. So this video is gonna have two parts. The first part is I'm gonna show you how to get a transcript from an audio file that you put onto your project. And then the second part will show you how to create captions with that transcript. And stick around to the end because I'm gonna show you how in Premiere Pro you can now animate those captions. It's really cool. Like in a few minutes, let's go. All right, so I've imported a video of myself. Oh, lovely face. So first things first is I'm gonna put an in and an out point. So I'll go, I'll hit O at the end of my project and I, the in point is automatically being created, which is at the beginning. So this area has been selected. What I wanna do now is I wanna get some text from the audio file and turn it into text. So what you do is you come up to the top here and you click on this text tab at the top over there and that's gonna open this little window. First things first is you come over to transcript and as you can see, I've already created one, but you should have nothing. And there should be an option to transcribe your sequence if you don't see that come to these three dots and click retranscribe sequence and this little window will pop up what you're going to do is nothing besides click on transcribe in to out point only that's if you have done what i've done selected the in and the out point if not it's going to basically go through the whole project so if you put an hour long piece of footage in there it's basically going to go through the whole hour of footage every single piece of audio that it finds so that's why i like to use the in and the out point okay i have to put an in point it seems make sure that you have selected an in point by hitting i on your keyboard all right so now i click transcribe what it's going to do is in a matter of seconds it's going to create a lovely transcript for me i found premiere pro's text function this function is incredible incredibly accurate. I have a South African accent if you haven't heard and obviously some things that we say are very different to Americans with the way that we pronounce things but it picks it up really well. So what I'll do is I'll go to the beginning of my playhead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit spacebar and I'll just read through as I listen to the audio and make sure that everything matches up. If there's a problem let's say and this does happen every now and again maybe this word they it thought that I said bay, right? And it says bay are used. And I don't want that. What I'll do is I'll click on this paragraph. You have to double click on it and that'll allow you to edit and access and then it's as easy as changing it to whatever you want. If you have a certain word that the AI picks up that is incorrect, and maybe it comes up four or five times in the wording. If you don't want to go through and change it every single time, what you can do is search for the word up here. So the word the, I'm sure will pop up a few times. And it's going to look for the word the. Then what you can do is you click here, replace and you can replace with instead of the maybe i want to change it to and and i can replace all and it'll go through that script and change all the instances where it has the and i'll change it to and but just be aware that it doesn't replace the word it just replaces the characters that you search for so it's finding the inside of the word there so if i replace the the with and what it's going to turn that word into is andy so just remember that but i'm happy with this right so when i'm done and i'm ready to go i've listened to it all the words line up everything is perfect you can change your punctuation do whatever you want over there then you're going to come to this little icon here create captions click on that baby and this screen will pop up make sure you click down on the preferences over here and you can leave everything as is this is where things will depend on the style of your video at this point if you are using this for short form videos where you need two or three words maximum to come up at once one or two words then what you're going to do is you're going to change this all the way to the end maximum length and characters and this too uh, actually i want to change this to seven i'll change it i found that 12 works probably the best. Change that to 12 if you're short form and keep the rest on the lowest that they can be. And at the bottom here, change your lines to single. Then it'll make sure that it doesn't put two lines for every caption. If you have something that is a bit more maybe corporate or professional, then you can drag these up and maybe back to 39, which is the default and change this to, I don't know, two seconds. And you can have double lines. You don't have to have single lines. You can change it to double. The, the great thing is once you create these captions and if you don't like it, all you do is you go back to this panel over here and you click again, create captions and then you can play around at the settings and see what works for you and it's really quick it changes it very very quickly but what i'll do is i'll change this i am using this for short form content so i'll bring this down to 12 make sure it's on single if you want to add your preset style so that as soon as you add the text that everything is set to that style that you've already created you would do that over here but i'm not going to do that because i want to show you how to create that and i'll click create captions and now if we come up to the top you can see i've done this quite a few times so i have to scroll all the way to the top every time i create a new transcript subtitle it pushes it to a brand new layer so now if i come to the top this is the one that i've created if i play through it you can see 
it has created very, 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 very small text that is easy to change. So you just click on any one of these. I'll just click on the first one, double click on it, and this will open the captions, essential graphics panel, which allows me to change this and edit this however I like. So you have all your options here to change your font size, where you want it to be aligned to. So what I'll do is I'll center this, I'll change it to CMG Sans. Let's go extra wide. We'll capitalize everything and change the size like that. And when I'm happy with that, I'm going to take the shadow off. Maybe you can give it a stroke, change the stroke to black. And let's just increase that, something like that. All right, make sure that you first get this down, make sure that it's perfect because once you save it as a preset and you go back to make changes, you have to save it as a new preset after you've made changes. So I'm happy with this, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to track style, click on none, and I'm gonna create a style. And just give it a name, you click on OK, and then what it'll do is it'll add it to this list with whatever new name you've created. I've already done this, I've called it center plane. Once I've created it and said OK, it will change every single one of my titles to the same style. So if I play through this. For some of them, you might see that like this one, for instance, it's a double line and I don't want that. What you can do is you click on the subtitle, then click up on the text and pull this box apart. And if there is enough space, it'll put them on the same line. If not, what you're gonna have to do then is play and pause where the one word finishes and the next word starts. So let me, let me find an example. This one is not gonna go into a single line. What I'm gonna have to do is find the point where a great finishes and way starts. I'll make a cut there. On this first part, I'll have to double click delete the word way, go to the second part, delete the top section. What I do want to show you, which is something really cool, which they've added. It's a way to animate all of your text. So we're going to highlight all of our subtitles, come up to the top here, click on graphics and titles and click upgrade caption to graphic. What that's going to do, it's going to disappear from the subtitle section. And now what it's done is turn our subtitles into graphic layers, which is incredible because now we can animate these things. We can do whatever we want to them, uh, which gives us so much more options. And then what you can do is you can take those animations, save them as presets, and then copy and paste them to all of your videos. I'll show you a very quick example of what I mean. Let's find some transitions. I've got a pack by Finzar, some text presets. This one is a pop in one. So, and and what's cool is let's say I want to add this pop in effect, which would be overkill to all of my graphics. I'll highlight all of them and drag that preset and pop it on. Now, if I play through it, you'll see what happens. That one is a little bit overboard, but the great thing with this option is you can create your own ones. So now what we can do is we can add the transform property to this, click and drag, go to our effects panel at the top here and play with our controls for transform. Let's go one, two, three, four, four frames in and set our scale position and rotation and let's move back and what we'll do is we'll drop oh, drop the scale rotate it a bit and pull the position down turn this off give it a shutter angle speed of 180 so we got some motion blur pull all of these across to the front and now we have our own little animation which looks like that's probably too slow so i'm going to pull these closer to one another See, now we've created our own animation, we can save this as a preset. So I go to the transform property over here, right click, save preset, and let's call it Zoomy Spin. Save. And now on your presets, you have something called Zoomy Spin. And now if I zoom out, highlight all of my captions and put my Zoomy Spin onto all of them. And you've got animated captions inside of Premiere Pro and it looks like this. Or extreme and you can obviously go through and change each one in the way that you like and play around with them as much as you want. Let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think? Let me know if there's something that I missed, some way that may be easier. This is what I found is the best way that works. I would love to know your thoughts in the comments, so let me know. And if you are somebody who edits videos for social media and short form content, and you're still trying to find the right platform to edit your videos on, I've made a video about what I think is probably the best platform for people editing videos on for social media, and you can check that video out over here.